The world mourns Ian Holm. This one really hurts. This is a profound loss. It's no exaggeration to say Holm was one of our greatest actors, one of the most beloved, respected, and admired. He is sadly gone from us now, having passed away on June 19th at the age of 88. No doubt for fans of Alien, his performance as Ash, the science officer, with a sinister secret in the original film is a particularly celebrated role, and rightly so. The entire cast of Alien is stellar, of course, each bringing their own unique acting gifts to the film, but it was Home who had the added challenge in playing a character that was not human. With that came precious subtleties to the performance that have us returning to the character on repeat viewings, paying especially close attention to his approach and how this character, this android, observes the events unfolding, knowing that he has an awareness the human characters surrounding him simply don't possess. His curiosity about this enigmatic creature is apparent almost instantly, and we as the audience share that curiosity, wanting to see how it evolves and what it does next. And in a way, we also share the admiration he later admits to having for the creature. The famous line, I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies, is delivered in a cold but sincere way that makes it all the more unnerving. Truly, there are moments where Ash is just as fascinating and terrifying as the alien itself. In a role that was initially feared by writer Dan O'Bannon as the cliched Russian spy plot element, Ian Holm brought a chilling depth that few actors could pull off so well. To think of Alien playing so well as it does without the android Ash as initially conceived seems impossible now. Without Ash, and without Holm's superb performance, the movie, I guess ironically, loses its soul. Fans of the film, and I absolutely include myself, are extremely grateful for his contributions to Alien. There's also no doubt that fans of J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings series have an undying affection for Holm. He became an important figure in these works, having starred as Frodo Baggins in the acclaimed BBC radio adaptation of the novels, and decades later portraying Bilbo Baggins in Peter Jackson's monumental, indescribably popular film adaptations. He returned to the Shire once more when Tolkien's Lord of the Rings precursor The Hobbit was also adapted into films by Jackson. I actually remember going to see the first Hobbit film back in 2012. I was really excited for it, but I actually had no idea that Ian Holm was set to appear back in the role as the older Bilbo. So, sitting down watching the film, when I saw him on the big screen again, in that iconic role again, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was such a joy to see. Home had such an infectious joy for acting, and the audience could feel that, and share in that joy. Separate from popular franchises like Alien and Lord of the Rings, Home achieved success in all other kinds of roles imaginable, with limitless range between comedies and dramas and the indefinable. Everyone, I think, has a favorite Ian Holm role, aside from and in addition to Ash and Bilbo. His terrifically entertaining role as priest Vito Cornelius in The Fifth Element, Napoleon Bonaparte in The Emperor's New Clothes, his vocal performance as the villain Skinner in the Disney Pixar animated film Ratatouille, there's truly too many to name, and his roles have touched many people and brought years of entertainment. One of my personal favorites is his role in Chariots of Fire, where he plays the Italian Arabic athletic trainer Sam Musabini. He leads the Jewish runner Harold Abrams to Olympic victory as he faces prejudice from his peers and his own personal doubts, ultimately coming out triumphant, a deep and personal win for the two men. Their relationship, I think, is the strongest and most endearing aspect to a great movie, with a wonderful performance from home. He was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for this performance, and he won the BAFTA for it in 1982. His accolades as an actor are just about endless, winning trophies from BAFTA Awards, Tony Awards, Laurence Olivier Awards, nominated for Emmys and Golden Globes, knighted in 1998 for contributions to the arts. Truly, truly high praise. These honors speak to an illustrious and grand career in the field of acting. While he's gone from us now, it is comforting to know that he was indeed recognized for his talents over and over again throughout his years of work. It's been much deserved. His work as a Shakespearean actor is just about a category in and of itself, lending his talent to countless roles from Shakespeare productions on stage, television, and film. His most acclaimed may very well be King Lear, which he played on stage and was filmed for television. 
Many have lauded him as the definitive portrayal of that role, which is no small praise. His performance as King Lear might just be his own masterpiece, and it would have been incredible beyond words to be able to see it performed live. When he passed, words were shared by almost all of Hollywood notables. Colleagues and friends shared their grief and appreciation for the actor. Alien director Ridley Scott made a statement to Sci-Fi Wire, saying, I had such a good time, and fruitful one, with Ian, and my only regret was not to have worked with him once again. Ian talked to me during production quite a lot, which I found to be very helpful. A great talent, and a great man. We'll miss him. We all truly will miss him. It's sad to think I'll never sit in a theater again, seeing him appear on the screen, surprised and smiling. But that joy will live on forever in the roles that he's left with us, the great talent that amazes, inspires, and speaks as a testament to the nobility of the acting profession. Rest in peace, Sir Ian Holm. We Alien fans say goodbye, and we thank you for everything. Thanks for watching today, everyone. This was a tough video to have to put out. I'm so very saddened, heartbroken, that we've lost such an icon. If you have memories of home, if you have favorite roles or projects he's done, please share below. Let's all remember this great man. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you again next time.